After viewing this lesson, please follow up with further instructions from your teacher. Today, we're going to learn about Christopher Columbus. Students will know the importance of Christopher Columbus. Students will understand how Christopher Columbus contributed to the history of the United States. Students will be able to identify the contributions of Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus was an Italian explorer, sailor, and a map maker. In 1942, he sailed across the Atlantic from Spain, hoping to find a new route to India to get spices. He sailed with 90 men in three ships called the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. They sailed for two months. What are you looking for, Moby? The New World? We are in the New World. That's what people called it after Christopher Columbus made his journey. Who was Christopher Columbus anyway? Well, Christopher Columbus was an explorer who sailed to the Americas. He was born in Europe in 1451. Columbus looked up to explorers like Marco Polo. Marco Polo traveled to Asia and brought back spices, silk, and gold. Other explorers from Europe thought they might sail all the way around Africa to reach the Indies. Columbus wanted to discover a faster route. He decided to sail west and get to Asia from the other side. But he didn't know that the Americas were in between. <laughs> Many people thought that Columbus couldn't make the journey. Some people thought the earth was flat, but Columbus and other educated people knew that the earth was round. Other people thought that the world was just too big. The king and queen of Spain paid for Columbus's journey. They wanted Spain to become rich and powerful by controlling the trade that would come from Columbus's new route to Asia. But Columbus never found a route to Asia. He found a route to the Americas. Where did Columbus land? Well, Columbus had sailed from Spain in 1492. Right, that was over 500 years ago. He and his crew traveled in three ships. The Niña, Pinta, and Santa Maria. The journey was tough, and 10 weeks later, they landed on a small island. Columbus claimed this land as part of Spain. I know, there are already native people living there, and it's not right to take something that doesn't belong to you. But that's what most of the explorers did in those days. They took over the land, stole gold and food, and forced native people into slavery. Columbus thought he had landed in India and he called the native people Indians. The name stuck around after his mistake. Well, Columbus really landed in the Bahamas. When he sailed to Cuba and Hispaniola, he thought he had reached Japan and China. Yeah, I guess he and his crew were pretty confused. Good question, Moby. Did Columbus discover the United States? After a few voyages, Columbus never made it to India and the rest of Asia. He did reach Central and South America, but he never reached the part that is now the United States. It's also hard to say he discovered the Americas because there were lots of people already living there. Besides, other explorers, like the Vikings, reached the Americas hundreds of years before Columbus. 
Columbus is remembered because he found a route from the old world to the new world. That's why there's a Columbus holiday. Moby, what are you doing? But where are you sailing to? Moby land? Hi, for your assignment today, you're going to make your own exploring ship, like the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. So this is my ship. And you see, I labeled all the parts of my ship. Here's the stern, the sail, the mast, and the bow. So you can try and draw your ship that you would love to go ex exploring in. Now it is your turn to practice what we have learned. Your teacher will give you instructions on what to do next. Thank you for joining me today.